The following contains adult content and language. The material may be offensive to some people, while the content may potentially be appealing to all ages. It is intended for older audiences. It may not be suitable for anyone under the age of 17. Listener discretion is advised. The things that come out of my mouth do not represent the views and or opinions of any entities whatsoever to which I have been, am, or will be affiliated with. I am capable of thinking on my own, and we encourage you to do the same. If you are offended by anything I say, feel free to think it through and let it go! This has become popular for apparently a few people. So we wanted to make sure we run through a whole segment. Now it's popular on Rebel shows. So we wanted to bring it to show segments. I'm sorry. I had to think about that. We wanted to bring it to show segments. So it's a smaller version of a compact subject. And the popularity for... This day in history, I think that's what we're calling it. This day in history, they'll correct me if I'm wrong sometime, some way. Anyway, on this day, I don't remember what it's called, but it's on this day in history. It's something like that. They, again, the production team will correct me when they get to it and we'll straighten it out. But for now, it's called this day in history. Um, yeah, so we're going to run through the whole week of this day in history in a short segment. For those who wanted the condensed version, that's what show segments are for. Absolutely. So, let's start with Blum 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 Blum, the new season. And this is season... Actually, this is the beginning of a new season. This is a new season. This is season one, episode one of This Day in History. Hey. All right. So, wait. I lost my notes. What? Uh, yeah, all right, you guys know this is slightly scripted. Um, slightly scripted, listen to me. Loosely scripted <laughs> show stuff. So we'll see how things go. Yes, indeed. Wait a minute. All right, so where were we? Oh, we were, we were, we were, we were. All right, we're starting at <gasps> Memorial Day, May 29th, 2023. Yes, indeed. All right, so holidays for Monday, May, holidays on uh, holidays in this day in history. There you go. The production team's going to fix this. We'll figure it out. It's just the beginning. Anyway, um, if you listened to Memorial Day on Rebel Shows, you heard that Memorial Day is also <gasps> Ascension of, I think I'm saying this right, Bahala... End of Middle East, the, 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 the end of the Middle Ages Day, International <laughs> Cock Oven Day. Mm-hmm. Some of these things I wouldn't even say. International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers. Learn about Composting Day, Memorial Day, National Two. 29, I can read National 529 Day, National Biscuit Day, National Paperclip Day, Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day, Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day, that's kind of crazy, uh, World Digestive Health Day, <laughs> and of course, there's a whole bunch of stuff, like, who National Pet Month, it, all of these days fall into the month, which we're not doing the month, but let's see, and on this day in history, Ba, ba, ba. Wow, there's some stuff. We go for a 1942 Bing Crosby recorded White Christmas. I know, in May? Why? Crosby's rendition of Erwin Irving, Irving Berlin's song became the most successful of his career and the best selling Christmas single in history. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, cool. Let's give you a few. Let's see. In 2010, Dennis Hopper, American actor, director, passed away on this day on May 29th. And uh, da, 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 oh, born on this day in 1917, John F. Kennedy, American lieutenant, politician, 35th president of the United States. Woohoo! 
All right. So, yeah, we covered that. If you want more detail, watch Memorial Day 2023 on um, Rebel Shows. All right. So let's move on to, as if it's the next day, Tuesday, May 30th. Tuesday, May 30th is Loomis Day. My bucket's got a hole in it day. Fix that hole in your bucket, baby. National Creativity Day. National Mint Julep Day. Water a Flower Day. should probably do this on a regular World MS Day. And let's see what happened on this day in history. Woohoo! Let's see who was born in this day in history on Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. No, 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 no. I don't know who was born that actual day. But let's see in history. Woohoo! I'm trying not to murder names, but you know I'm gonna. 1846, Peter Carl Fabergé, a Russian goldsmith jeweler, was born. In 1949, Bob Willis, an English cricketer, was born. What? Do I really want to know what that is? I don't know what that is, but hey, look, I don't know. Ah, 1971, India Menzel. An American singer, songwriter, actress was born. And in 1980, Steve Gerard, an English footballer, was born. And who died this day in history. In 1431, Joan of Arc died on May 30th. Let's see. 1640, Peter Paul Rubens, a Flemish painter, died. 1778, Voltaire, a French philosopher, passed away. 1960, Boris Pasternak, Russian author, poet, Nobel Prize. Who? Lariat. Nobel Prize Lariat passed away. And in 1993, Sun Ra, American pianist, composer, Band leader, poet, passed away. Let's see what happened on this day in history. America's first... Okay, in 1911, the first Indianapolis 500 is held. Woohoo! Now we're talking. Ray Heron won the first running of the 500-mile automobile race, which is today one of the world's most prestigious sporting event. Absolutely. Indianapolis 500. In 1960, well, but by the way, that first Indianapolis 500 was held in 1911. Just in case you missed it, 1911, it's been running since. In 1961, the Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo is assassinated. Oh, wow, that's just not good stuff. I hope he was not so terrible, but he might have been. Read on to it. I probably burned my. The, 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 yeah, I probably butchered the name, but it's all okay. It's all good. In 1962, Benjamin Britten's War. Jeez, Louise. I, I don't read these words enough. Requiem? I don't know. What, Requiem. Requiem is premiered. Okay. In 1967, the Republic of... <sighs> What, what, y'all, do you really come up with these names or, you know, this is just I just out of my realm of things. Baf, Bafra is proclaimed. I don't know what that is. Uh, it seems to be maybe related to Nigerian Eastern region. I don't know. I'm sorry. Geography is not my thing. And in 2011, Germany... Abandons nuclear energy. I guess that's a good thing, right? Maybe. Possibly. Sounds like it. Anyway, moving right along. I could if the buttons would go, man, come on, gotta work with me here. And let's see. This this day, Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. See how fast we're going through the days? It's like, oh, I don't know. Yes, absolutely sometimes it just feels like some days drag ass on and then others, yeah, well, you know, they just fly by. Okay, so, May 31st, 2023, 
National Autonomous Vehicle Day. Wow. Hmm. Jeez. I guess I should start reading this shit ahead of time. Nah, we just gonna have fun with it. National Macaroon Day. National Meditation Day. Go meditate on that, would you? Okay. Yeah. National Senior Health and Fitness Day. National Smile Day. Hmm. Necronizing Facilists Awareness Day. I boy, look. Hmm. Do your research, people. If you're interested in any of it. Oh, save your hearing day. Well, that's probably a good thing. Speak in complete sentences day. Oh, well, I try to do that on a regular day, but you know, not always. WTF. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, all pun intended. What you think upon grows day? Well, hmm. World no tobacco day. That doesn't mean, oh, wow. Oh, that could be harmful to someone's Fucking fuck. No, stop. World Parrot Day. World Parrot Day. World Parrot Day. World Parrot Day. No, stop it. Oh, goodness. Oh, and of course, you know, there's a whole month of somethings going on here. National Barbecue Week in the UK is observed for seven days, starting the last Monday in May. Well, that sounds interesting. American Cheese Month. Everybody got a month, huh? Oh, anyway. Remember, May is Be Kind to Animals Month as we go forward in this day in history. May, on this day in history, May 31st. Let's see what happened. Who was born? Who? Okay. Uh, Walt, Walt Whitman was born in 1819. He's an American poet and author. In 1894, Fred Allen was born. He's an American comedian, actor, and radio host is he probably was at this point i don't think he's still with us i'm gonna just look if we did the math here let's see um 2023 minus he was born in 1894 yeah that would be 129 years old and i don't think anybody's made it that far but let's you know be thankful he was you know come and go on i guess doing a death on one of these days we might figure it out anyway in 1930 clint eastwood american author director producer and politician was born Whew, hey we know him clint eastwood in 1945 rainier Web webner fassbender german author uh, german actor director and songwriter was born and in 1976 colin farrell Irish actor was born. Let's see what else we got here. And who died on this day in May? May, this day, May 31st. That's what was wrong. That's why I wasn't making sense to myself. Who, on this day. Uh, let's see if we can let one of the fur ones. Oh, oh. yeah. Animal actors got to love them. <laughs> love them even more when they don't interrupt the broadcast. So, okay. So, uh, so who died on this on this day in history? There we go. That might make more sense. In 1809, Joseph Hayden, Australian composer, passed away. In 1837, Joseph Grimaldi, that kind of sounds familiar, English actor and dancer. In 1983, Jack Dempsey, an American boxer. In 1996, Timothy Leary, American psychologist, author and in 2010 louise burgess a french american sculptor passed away let's see what happened on this day in history years ago let's see um in 1859 the great clock housing big ben started starts keeping time oh that's amazing in 1859 the great clock housing big ben starts keeping time the clock at the top of Elizabeth Tower, at the north end of the British Houses of Parliament, is one of the world's best-known timekeepers. That's right, Big Ben. 1859. Woohoo! Cool beans. 1890. Uh, bleh, I can read and not have dyslexia. What? 1879. Warner von Siemens presents the world's first electronic locomotive. What? That's right. Von Siemens, landmark invention, 
was soon used in transit, in trams, trams, that's it. In trams, 1881 saw the introduction of the world's first electric tram in Berlin, Germany. Awesome. 1961, South Africa becomes an independent republic following international criticism of the country's um, apparent held, apparent, oh boy, well, regime. It had to leave the Commonwealth of Nations, the system of radical... Segregation was gradually abolished in the early 1990s. In 2000, oh wow, <laughs> my mind went somewhere. In 2005, Deep Throat reveals himself. I am not making this up. Mm, no, <laughs> former FBI agent Mark Felt admitted that he had he was the most important informant in the 1970s Watergate scandal, which uncovered the dirty tricks of the Nixon administration, ultimately leading to Nixon's resignation. Deep throat reveals himself. Wow. And you know where my mind went. Come on now. Who calls himself deep throat? We're not going to go there. Anyway, in 2013, the Widest tornado ever recorded hits El Reno, Oklahoma. The storm had a width of 4.2 km, that's 2.6 miles. Nine people were killed as it swept over rural areas of central Oklahoma. Wow. Jeez Louise. (sighs) Things that happen in history that we should probably never forget, right? Absolutely. Anyway, we're going to take the headphones off because I don't need them right at this moment. Ah, Thursday, June 1st. And if you are listening, I know you're, you're like confused. What day am I? I don't know. Depends on what day you're listening on. But we're doing a whole week. That's right. Ha! Ah. Thursday, June 1st, 2023. Dare day. Dinosaur day. Don't give up the ship day. Flip a coin day. Global day of parents. Heimlich Maneuver Day, International Children's Day, National Go Barefoot Day, National Hazelnut Cake Day, National Moonshine Day, National Nail Polish Day, National Ooh, see I should get my nails done tomorrow. Ah, go figure. National Olive Oil Day, National Pen Pal Day. Get out a thing and write. God darn it. National, I'm oh, sorry, New Year's Resolution Recommitment Day. <laughs> People don't forget what they even resolved for. <laughs> to resolve. And set the resolution for. Oscar the Grouch Day. Hey, I like me some Oscar and his little worm friend. Um, Say Something Nice Day. That should be every day, but, you know, definitely do it on Say Something Nice Day, July 1st. Ah, Stand for Children Day. Wear a dress day. What? Oh, goodness gracious. Do I have to wear a dress tomorrow? Oh, we'll see. World Milk Day? Mm-hmm. Yummy. And remember that we're still in... Ooh, no. We started a new month. What? That's right. June, we got... Oh, Step Parents Week starting June 1st. It lasts for seven days. Adopt a Cat Month. Observe the month of June. Oh, Cataract Awareness Month, observed in June. Children's Awareness Month. Country Cooking Month. We got so many. Great Outdoor Month. Woo! And let's see. National Dairy Month. National DJ Month. There's so many. We can run through them. But let's find out what happened today in history, why don't we? June 1st. Okay, in history. In 1907, Frank Whittle, English Engineer, inventor, developer, and jet in uh, developed the jet engine. Sorry, he was born in 1907. In 1926, Marilyn Monroe. Blah, blah, blah. It just sounds funny. I don't know. In 1926, Marilyn Monroe, American model, actress, singer, was born. 1937, Morgan Friedman. Oh, gotta love me some Morgan Friedman. He's an American actor and producer. 
He was born in 1974. Alanis Morissette, Canadian-American singer, songwriter, guitarist, producer, actress, was born. And in 1982, Justine Hinnon, Bulgarian tennis player, was born. On this day, June 1st in history, na- oh wow, 1830, <laughs> swim Iranian, swim, swim and Ryan, swim and Ryan, and an Indian, nope, it's an Indian religious leader. Swim and are, swim in a Ryan. I'm sorry, murdering names is something I just do best. He, he passed away. In, or she, or uh, that person passed away. In 1868, James Buchanan, American politician, 15th president of the United States, passed away. In 1952, John Dewey, American philosopher, psychologist, passed away. In 1971, Reinhold Newbar, an American theologian, passed away in 2008. Ives Saint Laurent, a French fashion designer, passed away. Yes, y'all know I murder names. That is just my thing. In 1831, the British explorer James Clark Ross discovered the North... Um, Sorry, I got distracted. The North... Magnetic pole, North Magnetic pole. Oh my God! Why can't I even read today? The North Magnetic Pole. It is the location where the Earth's magnetic field points directly downward. It lies in the vicinity of the national. Oh, sorry, the geographic North Pole. In 1945, the first group of Berlin women started clearing the rubble of World War II. In Germany, the Trümmer Freien are a well-known symbol for the new beginning after the total dissolution uh, in the aftermath of the war and for the oh, Jesus, um, Werfs Wonder? I don't know. I'm not German. I don't know how to say these things. Um, the rapid reconstruction of Germany's economic through hard labor. In 1974, the Heimlich Maneuver is published. Henry Heimlich is credited with developing a, the technique using abdominal thrust to stop choking. In 1979, oh, geez, Louise, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, ends 90 year of white rule. In 1980, the Republic of Zimbabwe achieved sovereignty, so, sovereignty from the United Kingdom. And in 2009, Air France landed Seven, I'm sorry, a four seven four forty seven. Yeah, let's try that again. They didn't land. Um, in 2009, Air France flight 447 crashes into the Atlantic. All 228 people aboard the plane died in a crash. It took two years to find and recover the wreckage from the ocean floor. Wow, jeez. Seems like that number is... Repetitive 228. Okay, oh, holidays for Friday, June 2nd, 2023. We have American Indian Citizenship Day, Hug an Atheist Day, Love, I, I Love My Dentist Day, National Bubba Day, National Donut Day, ooh, that sounds fun, National Gun Violence Awareness Day. National Leave the Office Early Day. Good luck to y'all with that. National Rocky Road Day. National Rotisserie Chicken Day. Um, Yell Fudge at the Cumbreus in North American Day. I, 
Cambro, Cambros, I don't know what that fuck that means. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, don't forget, it's also National Mango Month, National Ice, Ice Tea Month, woohoo! National Rivers Month, National Rose Month, National Safety Month. There is so many things, and everything apparently needs a month. So what happened this day in history? Well, uh, why don't I tell you? Who was born? Let's see. Born on June 2nd, this day in history... In 1740, Marcus de Sade, a French author, politician. In 1857, Edward Elgar, an English composer, was born. In 1956, Mandy Ratnam, Indian director, producer, and screenwriter. In 1965, Mark what? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, an Australian cricketer and journalist. There's that cricketer thing again. And in 1965, Steve, well, well they must be twins. Steve Wall, an Australian cricketer, was born. Twins, born on the same day, it seems. Anyway, um, and who died in June, on June 2nd, in this day in history. <sighs> Uh, 1882, Giuseppe Garbaldi, an Italian military politician. And that took a half a second to get that one, didn't it? Yes, it did. Um, 1941, Lou Gehrig, Gehrig, Lou Gehrig, Lou Gehrig. Oh, I should know that name. I'm sorry, Lou Gehrig. Um, American baseball player passed away. 1987, Andreas Segova, a Spanish guitarist, passed away. In 2008, Bo Diddley, American singer, songwriter, and guitarist, passed away. And in 2013, Matawai, you unpig? An Australian singer, songwriter, guitarist passed away. Wow, these things. Eh, that's why we do it, right? Just to get you to get you thinking. Oh, in 1847, Felix Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn's wedding march is used at a wedding for the first time. There you go. In 1946, Italian... Oh, sorry, Italian. <laughs> Italy becomes a parliamentary republic. In 1953, Queen Elizabeth II is crowned. 1967, Bono Onesong is killed. In 1979, Pope John Paul II becomes the first pontiff to visit the communist con a communist country. Wow, brave man, wasn't he? Yes, I do believe he probably was. Boy, hmm. Oh, we're gonna take it to the weekend. Saturday, June third, nineteen. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just picking what year I want to be in. No, just joking. Ah, uh, this day in history. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Go back. We're going to. Today, Saturday, it's not today. When I'm doing it, it's Saturday that day. Saturday, June 3rd, 2023. Oh, geez. Shem Shambarazo Day? I think y'all just making some of this stuff up. Uh, drawing Day. Impersonate Authority Day. D don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's not, um, not, probably not a good idea. Uh, Love Conquers All Day, National Black Bear Day, National Buddy Day, National Cheer Coach Day, National Chocolate Macaroon Day, National Egg Day, Ooh. National Family Recreation Day, National Itchy Day, oh, I hope not, um, National, it depends maybe if you run through some Poison Ivy, stop, all right, uh, National Learn to Row Day, row, stroke, row, so, no, stop, stop, uh, National Pineapple Day, National Prairie Day, National Trails Day, Repeat Day, Repeat Day, Repeat Day, stop, Turtles Rescue, uh, Turtle Race Day, 
and World Club Foot Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Turkey Lovers Month is in June. If I said May before the last one, sorry. It's all we're still doing June if we're in June. Um, but do, 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 National Safety Month, National Zoo and Aquarium Month, Vision Research Month, Firework Eye Safety Month. Yeah, okay, there's National Candy Month. There's one for you. Oh, so many, so many months, so many things. Everybody needs a month. Everything needs a month. Oh, it's only 12 months in a freaking year. It's all added up. So on this day in history, June 3rd, history, June 3rd and 1770, Manuel Belgrando. Oh, geez, Louise, Argentinian economist, economist, economist. Yeah, that's the word. Law. Lawyer and politician <sighs> was born 1808. Jefferson Davis, American colonial politician, president of the Confederate States of America. Jefferson Davis was born in 1926. Allen Ginsberg, American poet. 1931. Raul Castro. Colombian politician, 17th Prime Minister of Cuba, was born and in 18, oh, sorry, in 1986, Rafael Nadal, Spanish tennis player, was born. Let's see who died this day in history on June 3rd. Who? In 1875, George Bazet, French composer. 1924, Frank Kafka, uh, uh, Czech um, German writer in 1989 um, Ruhollah Khomeini an Iranian religious leader, politician first supreme leader of Iran was, he passed away oh, um, 2001 Anthony Quinn, American Mexican actor, producer, passed away. And in 2016, Muhammad Ali, American boxer, passed away. What happened this day in history? In history, let's see, in 1492. Whoa, that's a good one. Martin Berman presents the world's first globe. Be him. Be him. Martin, be him. Okay, uh, in 1973, the world's first supersonic airliner crashes. Well, that's never freaking good. In 1982, the Israeli ambassador to the UK is shot. Oh, man, jeez. Uh, in 1989, 101 people die in the... Um, a shaded train disaster? S. It's shady, I guess. That's um, traveling at uh, 200 km dash a, I mean, slash h, which is 120 miles per hour. The high speed ice train derailed and crashed into a bridge. The accident was caused by a fade, um, a fatal crack in one of the train's wheels. It was the deadliest high-speed train disaster in history. Mm, damn. In 2013, the trial against whistleblower Bradley Manning begins. The American soldier, a trans woman now called Chelsea Manning, was responsible for leaking classified video documenting U uh, U.S. war atrocities during the Iraq war. She was sentenced to 35 years in confinement. Wow. Jeez Louise. My goodness gracious sakes alive. And that brings us to Sunday, June 4th, 2023. Wow. This was supposed to be short. <laughs> Audacity to hope day. Children's awareness. Memorial day. Hug your cat day. National day of Innocent Children, Victims of Aggression, National Cancer Survivors Day, National Cheese Day, National Children's Day, National Clean Beauty Day, National Cognac Day, National Frozen Yogurt Day, National Safe Day, 
Old Maid's Day, Shopping Cart Day, Trinity Sunday. Oh, wow. Let's see. Don't forget the uh, midday events starting on June 4th, 2023, American Week of um, American the Beaut America the Beautiful Week. Um, Bed Bug Awareness Week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. National Flag Football Week. Health Executives Appreciation Week, National Fragrance Week, National Headache Awareness Week, Pet Appreciation Week, observe the full the first full week of June, and Teachers uh, Thank wait, Teachers Thank You Week. Mm, well, most of the time school's on it by this time, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. And on this day in history, who, who was born? Whew, let's see, George. The third of the United Kingdom was born in 1738. In 1915, Madabi, Madabu Kaita was born in 1975. Russell Brand, English comedian, actor, and singer. In 1975, Angelina Jolie, American actress, director, producer, screenwriter. And in 1985, Evan Isaac, American figure skater, and who died on June 4th in history. Let's see. Ah, in 1798, Giacomo Casanova, an Italian explorer, author, passed away. In 1922, W.H.R. Rivers, an English anthropologist, Neurologist, psychiatrist, and ethnologist passed away in 1941. Wilhelm II, uh, German emperor. 1971. Wow. Georgi. Georgi. Um, Hungarian historian, philosopher, passed away. And in 2010, John Wooden, American basketball player and coach, passed away. Whew. And on this day in history, let's see. Um, in 1783, the Montgolfler brothers demonstrated the first hot air balloon. 1917, the first Pulitzer Prize is awarded... 1984, Bruce Springsteen released Born in the USA. Awesome song. You guys ought to take, take it out and listen to it. Or go get you a copy. In 1989, um, Poland holds its first free election after World War II. Wow, that seems like it was a time in between World War II and 1989. Anyway, and in 1989, uh, thousands die in a tain, tainanimum Square Massacre. I, let's see. Using an assault rifle and tanks, Chinese troops massacred unarmed civilians who had taken part in a pro-democracy protest. Wow. Boy, what a way to shut people up. Oh, God. Seriously. All right. And that's your week in history. <laughs> that's your week this week of things in history. <laughs> your week this week in history. That's, that's a tongue twister there, isn't it? Anyway, all right, what was supposed to be a, sh a segment is now a long show, so I hope you enjoyed that. We'll probably break these up in smaller pieces, because doing a whole freaking week in history is taxing the brain. <laughs> Just joking. All right, you guys have fun, enjoy, and remember to listen to Rebel Shows. All right, lady y'all. 